All right, they are playing, and let us get over to this game. Uh, we have Ty Kevin 83, Lord English SSBM2. We are here for all of the marbles. Uh, just to um, uh, kind of put this out here, so uh, so we got we have e4, and then knight c6. Interesting opening here from uh, from Lord English uh, coming out with his uh, with his queenside knight uh, and uh, Ty Kevin bringing out his knight. And now we have both knights out for, uh, for Lord English already. Um, honestly, e5 would be the best move here. Uh, you can try, you know, you can't take back there. Um, I don't know why he didn't just push all the way up, but, eh. I guess to protect that pawn. Um, yeah, so I like I like the development here a little bit better from white right now, but black's not in a bad position. Um, I would get this pawn up though, uh, absolutely would. Um, that's gonna push this bishop back here. And now if he decides to push up here, um, that is what he does. So that forces the bishop back. Although this isn't really a great position to castle now, so I would like to see uh, him get this. Uh, get this bishop developed, get this queen out of the way, and then castle queenside uh, from uh, from Ty Kevin's perspective. As for Lord English, I would get this this stupid pawn up. Get this uh, get this bishop out. Get the castle. Um, you could even go here and castle. Um, but this pawn, this pawn needs to move at some point. Uh, he moves the queen up, so uh, his idea here is uh, is to castle. Um, queen side. Now, actually, g5 would be a great move here uh, from Ty Kevin, putting pressure onto this knight, and it really only has uh, two spaces it can go, just those two. Um, he brings the bishop out, so his idea is now to castle queen side. Um, and there is uh, there's black's queen side castle. Uh, I'm expecting we'll see a queen move here uh, from white. Uh, up to d2 is my guess. Uh, he instead decides uh, to bring his knight out to uh, to d4, um, which interesting move. Not sure how much I like it. Yeah, and then just trading off there is definitely best for white. Um, this is. Fine, and there's there's that g6 uh, g5 move that I that I had brought up earlier, putting pressure onto that knight. And now this knight, really, it's only got two squares that it's that it's safe at. Um, I mean, it could go it could go to this square, uh, which is protected by the bishop here. Um, but uh, there's the queen the queen and the bishop also attacking that square. Uh, he decides to push it back here, which is another square that I also missed. Um, so, uh, he decides to bring his, uh, his knight up, uh, to d5, um, maybe trying to bait this out, but I doubt that's going to happen here, um. Yeah, uh, so really, this is, a, this is a tough position. I would say, eh, this is, a, this is a tough, tough question as to what you do here um, if you're black. Like, you could bring the queen here, put him in check. Um, all right, so that just puts him in check. That's probably going to just force the knight back here. Um, the king also could move back to b8, which I think is probably, probably the best move here. Um, regardless, yep, and he does, he does make that, that king move here. Uh, so he brings the knight down, attacking the queen here on c6. Uh, so that queen's got to move somewhere. Uh, he moves it to b5. 
kind of just a ticky tack game right now. Um, I would probably consider protecting this knight right now. Uh, a3. Could also go c3. Could just move the knight back here. You could just move the move the queen there and protect. That's also that's also a, a fine option. Um, H six might be the best thing. God, like this this is such a weird questionable position. Like, what do you do here? Um, you know, and if you're white, I wouldn't take back here. Uh, cause you're better off having your bishop here, um, than having him, you know, take back with the, with the pawn there. I mean, it does create a pawn weakness on the, uh, on the H file, but this is, yeah, this is a very, very even position. Uh, Ty Kevin does take back there, uh, with, with his pawn. Um, so be careful not to take back there because that bishop is ready and raring to go here. Uh, network error. Yeah. Um, I see. I saw it too. Um, oh, this is bad. Did my internet go out? All right. Uh, in the in the meantime, we have some we have some moves here. We're gonna hope that stream comes back, but if not, at least we have at least we have a vod. Um, so uh, we did have uh, we did have a trade there with the uh, with the pawn there, um, and then the pawn attacks uh, queen over uh, to a five. I don't know what's going on with stream right now. Um, what is going on with my internet? Looks like I'm, it looks like I'm okay right now, potentially. All right, so queen drops back here. Um, so this is... Uh, Okay, so he takes in the middle there, and black is... Uh. Oh, good. Stream is back. Great. I did not do anything. Uh, so for those who missed it, uh, we had a little bit of movement here. Um, nothing incredibly crazy. Uh, however, uh, this is, th this is the board state that we have right now. Um, I didn't want to, I didn't want to stop stream or else the, the recording of, of the, uh, of the stream would stop, um, which would be very bad because at least we have, we have that for a VOD. Um, but here we are, we have H5, uh, coming out from, uh, from Dr. Alice, uh, or sorry, from Lord English. Dr. Alice was the last game. Uh, I would probably just go back to e2 if I'm if I'm Ty Kevin. Uh, instead, trying to force a trade, I guess. Um, that's. Uh... So. I don't know if you guys saw this arrow, but there is an idea here um, for for Black to try to get some pressure on, um, basically by uh, if if he can get this queen out of here, you can bring this rook down, and this rook can just cause some havoc if it can get down. Um, yeah. So actually, r right now, I mean, knight takes on e4 looks. good like i there's a lot of moves here that lord english can make that 
don't look obvious. His best moves are ones that don't look obvious because it looks like you're giving up material. It's, I mean... Yeah, so he brings this rook up here, and I don't, I, like, I don't really blame him for, for not seeing some of these. But, like, yeah, here you should probably just take there if you're, if you're Ty Kevin. This is, this is a very, very weird game right now. Um, so now, rook takes, pawn takes... And then bishop takes. Hold up. Rook takes, pawn takes, bishop takes, pawn takes, queen to a6. That's the winning computer line, which just seems very bizarre. He moves queen a6 now, which isn't bad. Um, I'd move this rook out. He should probably think about castling at some point as well. Um, he moves the rook, but not the rook, not the rook move I like. I would have rather had f1 to protect this bishop here. Um, but now... God, this is... This is such... This is such a weird position for black. Like, honestly, I would just start, like, trading off here. I think that's where I would start. But, like... You know, the king's out in the open. It, the, the question is, how do you get in in this situation? And... I'm not sure it's, like, incredibly obvious. Oh, well, now bishop takes. You have to take there if he takes back. I mean... That, I like that. I would have rather seen this, just to put check on the king, but this is perfectly fine, too. This forces the queen to make an option. And that's, that's, that's a great move there from Lord English, just realizing that that was an option um, coming from, uh, you know, coming from back here to take this pawn. It is protected here by the knight. You know, putting pressure on the queen to move. And now the queen has to make the correct move. Um, queen c2. Queen f2. Because, let's see. You don't, you don't want to put it here because it kind of... Um... Yeah, now queen d6, and that's you're you're simultaneously protecting the knight and supporting the rook. So I think that's and and in addition you're also attacking this knight. So um, really that's okay. So he puts check on the king. Um, unfortunately, this just I mean. He's going to move his king, and then you have to figure out, you know, like, what what are you going to do now? Do you bring the queen over then? You know, like... Let's see. Knight to d3. Put pressure on the queen again. Uh, cut off the king's squares. All right, he brings his other rook over. I like that move. This is just a very interesting, interesting uh, position here. And Lord English, despite only being up a pawn, is very clearly winning. I mean, the king is out in the open 
for for Ty Kevin. Uh, he's he's able to just keep attacking here. Uh, the king probably moves to b1, I guess. Could move to c1. Um, he can't move here because of the knight. Um, gee, this is uh, this is tough. This is tough. He does move back to b1. Um, you could put the rook here. Now, that would be, that would be an interesting play to put the rook here. You could like bait out a, the queen trades for the rook. Um, you know, try to get some more time to get your queen out into the game. It is very difficult to say. All right, so he does bring his uh, his knight into it. Now, this could just be a straight trade here. Um, he decides to take over here. Um, keep in mind, he can't take back because the rook is protecting here. The bishop's also protecting. Um, for black, c5, what a move. Great move. Putting pressure on the queen. You know, what's the queen do here? Like, it it really can't go anywhere. Like, all of its escape squares, all these are covered by the queen, by, uh, by the black queen. Um, like, this is its only theoretical escape square. But, God, like, yeah, if he does move there, that's just a fork from, from, the, from the knight uh, onto the king and queen. And that's, that's, just, that's just winning. This is just winning for black right now. So black is going to win the queen, just a matter of how. All right, so I guess trying to just trade off the queens. Um, but I think queen takes c4 might be the best option here. Uh, basically trap the king in there. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a beautiful move there from, uh, um, from Lord English, identifying that that's, that was the position he needs to be. And keep in mind right now, like, Lord English has taken a bishop, a knight, and five pawns, whereas Ty Kevin has taken two bishops, a knight, and two pawns. This is equal on material, theoretically, but Black is so cleanly winning, he's forced White's king into a corner, and now that is, that's just, like, well, that's not checkmate because he does defend that square now. Um, yeah, takes it over there, puts the king in check, uh, literally, it's mate and two from this point. Uh, queen c1 is mate and one. Uh, and if he does queen d3, you just take, um, like, literally, if you're black, you can just pre-move this out. There's two legal moves, and this is your, this is your square. That's mate, uh, queen c2. And Lord English dismantling Tyke Heaven just... Beautiful position, beautiful positional play uh, from Lord English here. Uh, wow, excellently played. Okay, we're back, and they have started. Um, so everyone is muted here. Cool. Um, so let's get. Uh, sorry, they uh, they kind of just accidentally jumped into it. So let's uh, let me flip the board here so that we actually have the correct pieces on the correct side. Lord English. Uh, taking the white pieces here uh, in game two, just needing a draw uh, to move on here. So, so Ty Kevin deciding to push here uh, with his F pawn uh, to try to 
get a little bit of a positional opening, I guess. Um, I guess the idea is is just to trade off the pawns there and try to control the center. Um, not accepted, um, but now... I guess... I guess you could just take with that wing pawn. Uh, you could take... You could bring your... I was going to say you could bring that knight out, but that's not the square I would bring that to. I would have rather seen it on this F square. Um, but now D4 actually looks like an interesting move here. If he takes back, you take back with the queen. You can take back with the knight. Okay, so putting pressure onto the queen here. And now uh, bishop E7, uh, queen to D7, literally your only options. Okay. So he does block with the with the bishop there. Um so now uh queen comes out for Lord English. He's looking to castle queenside yet again this game. This is uh this is an interesting interesting game here. Uh I think Depending on what happens, I think this is okay for. Uh, I think this is okay for white right now, and I think it's okay for black too. Um, so now, triply attacking this bishop here, um, I would just trade off. Honestly, in this position, you could also get away with h4 to to protect this again here. Um, but I wouldn't do that. And this is why. You take here. He takes. You take. Um, I, would, I would actually take with the knight first. Um, okay, he does take with the bishop first. Uh, I get, the idea is he takes, takes, takes back takes back so this is this is a winning position for black right now ty kevin okay so he does take back there so you take back with the with the knight and now black winning very cleanly i think lord english might be starting to regret um where his position has gone to and he ends up attacking here and now he can just bring he can just bring the boy back home bring your bring the boys back home put that knight back back here into safety you know either one of these squares perfectly fine um that knight has done its job so ty kevin up a full knight here um now the issue with this is that um, which is fine. Uh, you can bring the knight over here to, uh, to c5. You can bring it to d4. Um, and that puts this pawn under attack as well from the bishop. Uh, puts your knight in the middle, middle of the board. I actually do like this idea just because you can get it back to here. Um, and now I, I don't like that, and that's because you had much better attacking options with your knight, and now you've kind of just kind of let those go away and now now the only way you can get this knight out is going here um which kind of sucks and now keep in mind that that white is down right now piece wise but uh look at where black's pieces are they're like completely undeveloped here they're all sitting on that back line and now uh up oh, sorry about Ty Kevin. I don't know why that's happening. Um Let me uh let me get that fixed here for you. There we go. That should do it. They they got me they they ended up pushing me into the game too quickly and I couldn't make sure that everything was working fine. So, uh we had uh G6 rook to G1. And now um, the idea is, is that if he takes there, you take there. And now this rook has an open G file. Um, I would probably 
Oh, this is this is an interesting interesting position. Uh, Rook to g8, I like because if you know he does take back here, you can just take back with the rook. You kind of get it out into the game. Um, it's okay. It's okay. It does look like a hanging pawn. So, uh, and it does pin this pawn to the king. Uh, but now, now that pawn is unpinned because of the because of the queen side castle. Uh, it's kind of kind of unclear right now. I would I, again. I would bring this this rook over, um, or you could just take here. Uh, queen to queen to g five, queen to g five, and put pressure. You know, pin this knight to the queen. Um, and he does decide to do this, and this does open up the file for for this rook, um, which is okay. Um, like if I'm black, I don't I don't want to be castling queenside anyway at this point because you know your pawns are gone. Uh, but at the very least, you need to get these pieces out and playing. Um, okay, so he brings the knight out uh, to d7. Good move here. Um, however, just keep in mind that this bishop is blocked in right now. Um, not really able to do anything. Uh, so we'll probably see black's next move being, being a knight move unless we see something unexpected from Lord English here. Um, for example, d4 is actually probably fine here. Okay, that's an unexpected move. And the the way that you tackle this is you just push this pawn. Um, you could also go queen to h uh, to f6 and and make this uh, make this knight go back. There are options, uh, you know, even like. Really, what is what is this able to do here? It can't it can't take here because the queen and the rook are blocking. It can't take here because the knight and the king are and and the knight uh, are protecting. And the knight was also protecting here, so he brings the knight uh, to h6 or the queen rather. He brings the queen to h6, uh, and uh, yeah, I I like this position better for black. Uh, and now you can start developing some of your pieces. Um, you can bring knight out to f6, pressure this rook, send it away again. You know, like... Okay, and that is exactly what we see. Um, so this rook is probably just going to have to move back um, to one of these uh, one of these spaces here. Uh, G1, 2, or 3, I think are all probably fine. But this is, you know, like, even though this is an open file, like, what is this rook able to do here? And, you know, you're blundering your rook. You can also go A5 here. Yeah, the knight does protect, but you're trading a knight for you're trading a knight for a rook. That's a winning trade for black. Like And d5 is a, is a great move too. Um, you know, getting more control over the center of the board. Um, you know, idea to push here. Like where does this knight move here? If if it gets pushed again, um, and now, now you take on g4, that protects the queen, so if he decides to trade off queens, you just take back, um, if he decides to take back with the knight, and here's the move, if he decides to take back with the knight, you just take the queen, uh, if he takes with the queen, you just take back with the knight. So masterfully, masterfully played here from from Ty Kevin. 
Um, and yeah, you you definitely want to trade off here. That's um, that is your that is your one and only play. And Ty Kevin putting himself in very good position right now uh, to potentially send this to a tiebreaker. Um, now this is an open G file for for uh, for Black's Rook. Uh, now with uh, with the White Rook on that side of the field gone, you can bring your you can bring that Rook into play. Uh, okay, so he brings his Bishop out. I guess his idea is maybe this. Uh, develop on this diagonal for for the bishop. Um, all right, and so now white deciding to bring his rook over to that open g file and black castling finally. And now black's black's king is very very safe where it is. Um, you know, really, you know, he's got he's got just these three pieces and. You know, this this knight is very far back. This rook is on the wrong side of the board. Um, rook to g8, if he takes, you just trade off. Like, if you're if you're black here, trading off isn't that... It is probably the best thing, because you're up so much material. And this is this is a fine move, too. Get this knight out of the way. Like, where does it go? Does it, go it can't go there, because you can just trade off. Um, so it's basically... You know, you're push you're pushing that knight back into a bunch of spaces that it just doesn't want to be. Um, you can also bring it here. That's probably its best move, and that gets you like at least closer to the king. Now that that square is undefended. Uh, both players at five thirty on the clock. Uh, let's see. Uh, Let's see what Ty Kevin is planning here uh, for his uh, for his next move. He's not going to be able to guard this pawn anymore, and then I can take it and be uh, up material. Yeah, I think I want to do this. No, I want to do this. All right, we're going to come back here. We had a few moves there uh, that I guess were a little laggy on. So coming back to here, uh, we had bishop takes. Uh, the bishop moved back there, uh, and then he trades off the rooks here. Um, and so now uh, uh, he takes back this uh, this knight here into the uh, into the center of the board. Um, but this is cl clearly winning for for black. You know, both both of white's rooks are gone. Uh, he still has his rook in play. Um, you know, just he, he's up a full rook and a and a knight right now. And you know, from white's perspective, you know, how do you how do you break through? Um, you know, he, he does have this passed pawn here on, uh, on the F file, but black also has a passed pawn here on the H file. And this pawn is definitely much scarier for, uh, for white to potentially deal with, um, than, than vice versa, because I mean, there's just so many more ways that black can stop this from happening. Drops his uh, drops his bishop back here to uh, to d7. Um, honestly, black, as long as he just doesn't straight up blunder pieces, is probably pretty okay right now. Ooh, that's a nice nice little play here. So, um, 
The knight should probably just take here. Um, you take back. But if you're white, do you, you know, do you really want to do that? Uh, oh, uh, I guess he was not expecting the pawn to just push up too. Um, I don't know why he didn't just push it too. Kind of, kind of questionable. Um... You need to find a way to protect this pawn with uh, with your pieces. Okay, so he brings his knight down, but that's just blundering your knight. Um, Ty Kevin kind of losing his plan here a little bit. This is a very dangerous pawn here. Another dangerous pawn here. You know, this is not past pawn. Um, I would have just taken there, quite honestly. Um, but that's not a that's not a bad move pushing this pawn either to protect. The king should probably start moving this way to try to block this pawn from promoting. Okay, so he does take there, and now the king has has to take, and now you you push that pawn, or don't push that pawn, um, and trade off more pieces, I guess, or at least try to trade off more pieces. Yeah. Oh, uh, but dude, you can't do that. Tyke Heaven letting him back into it. I don't really understand. Like, now, now he can... You have to stop it with the bishop here somehow. Like, you can move it here. That's a fine move as well. But keep in mind, if he does push here, you can't really take back because of this bishop. And then black again is winning. Um, you just have to... It's just going to turn into a very... Very obvious end game here. If you're white, like, God, I... You don't do that. I, I, I mean, that's fine, I guess. Yeah, but now now this bishop's got to stay on this diagonal. And now I like the idea of bringing the king over here. Uh, well, first, bringing the bishop around, down, bringing the king over here. You don't want to leave this unprotected. Um, Black is winning here with best, best play. Uh, I like the idea of bringing the bringing the bishop down, uh, and then trying to get the king over here. Well, yeah. Now, now you bring the king over here to C, to to here or c seven. Another great move. And now, this is your idea. Force the issue for the bishop. That uh, that's even better. Yeah. <laughs> and now you just take the bishop next move if he doesn't take back. And if he does take back, you take. And now you have a queen. And black should win this game. You take here. Black wins by resignation. White uh, Lord English deciding that. The rest of the game is not worth his time, and we are going to go to a tiebreak game three, ladies and gentlemen.
is going to be a five minute tiebreaker. So five minutes and no increment for these two players. Um, and here we go. We are starting off uh, Ty Kevin with the white pieces and we're getting the Sicilian defense here. Uh, E5 or C E4, C5, and then C5. I don't like that C5 move, but this is fine. Uh, kind of blitzing out some moves here at the start. Remember, there is, uh, there is no, um, uh, no increment. Um, so white does immediately give up a, a pawn there. Um, black does give up a little bit of, uh, of development to get, to get that. Um, I would like to see this come out and then bring the bishop out, get that castle going. Um, I guess, I guess the idea with this move is, is if he does bring it out, uh, you take take oh he's he's lining up a gun he is lining up uh all kinds gun i uh i cannot speak russian so uh forgive my pronunciation if you shot as the bishop i would have rather have seen the bishop come out to this g2 square but that's fine as well I guess he's trying to bait out a trade here. Is that what he's doing? I guess. But you know, he, he trades and then he goes D, D6 and then what do you do? You know, you just drop it back, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. He immediately does that. Um, and now he's doubled up his pawns here um, on the C file. He's now got an, a weak A pawn, uh, but black black is up by a pawn. Um, you know, still a lot to play for. Still a lot left. Black deciding to get his castle in now. That I don't like as much because now you've you had this idea of the of the gun and now you've blocked that with your bishop. Um, bishop to f3, yeah. Okay, and now knight to a4. This is now a weak pawn here. That can't go anywhere. You can't attack this knight. You can't. You know. You can defend it, but. It's not really very defendable. I don't like that though, because that gives off that gives the possibility of a trade here. A little unfortunate. Um, when you could have just outright won the pawn. But you definitely do need to do something about that knight there. Um, you can always go d3 and just force the issue. If he does go d3, he has to go to e3. He can't take back because that queen is attacking and there's no other, uh, there's nothing else to defend. Okay, so he decides to go back uh, and he blocks off his queen. Uh, that could mean something. Um, the queen can still get out on this diagonal. Kind of iffy. Lord English down to 230 on his clock. Uh, remember, there's no increment here. Uh, five minutes. Um, they just need to make moves fairly quickly, uh, and that was a free pawn. And now he's pointing at both of these, uh, both of these boys. I'm guessing. Oh no, you just yeah, you just gave up your rook, and now Ty Kevin, cleanly, cleanly winning. Um, oh boy. Uh, could decide just to trade these off. Um, he doesn't. He decides to go d3 instead. Uh, but I did like this idea. Um, now that you're up material, you're up a full rook. You know, now is the time that you can kind of think about some of this stuff. And now this rook is pinned. This rook is pinned to the queen here. Uh, or knight, rather. The knight is pinned to the queen. Nothing you can do about it. And now this is looking really, really bad for black. And black resigns. Black realizing that there is no way they can come back, especially with the clock difference. 
Very unfortunate for Lord English, but Ty Kevin will be moving on to the finals to face Dr. Alice, PhD.